the lads that went away at, at, in, from our Northern Ireland team at 16, there's probably only a handful of them still there. The majority of lads probably went to England later on. You know, they went and it's my, if, if I could go back now, I would do it differently. I would have signed for Derry at 16. I really would have. If I was getting the coaching news you're getting now, I would have. And the reason being is because when you go into that under-18 environment and then under-23s, and then if you break into the first team, you're always seen as a youngster. You know, no matter how many games you play or when you're on the first team, you're always seen as that youngster. Whereas when you come through the likes of Derry or wherever it may be here, and you're playing senior games, even if it's out and loan, or you, you know, you're, you have more chance of being seen by the manager, you have more chance of training with the first team. You know, I remember being with Derry last year, and I think it was five or six under seven teams training with the first team one day or for a week. You know, I, I've never seen that before, and they were unbelievable. You know, so that was like unbelievable experience for them. And, you know, being around experienced pros, I never really got that until I was probably 20 or something. And then they brought in the under 23 system, which is a disgrace, but it should never be here, you know, because I, I could be there, there 23. You know, if you're not ready for, like, you should be ready for first team football at 23, you know, men's football. And I was, but I was going out on the Monday afternoon playing against 18 year olds. And what, what am I learning at 23? There, so I think it's definitely the tides have definitely turned from when I was sixteen. There's a lot more opportunities in Derry, you know, and it's I would never like if you if you don't go to England at sixteen, it's by all means not the end of the world because if I was sixteen, now I would do it the way it's been done here now. And as I say, like you know, the thing is, lads, he's he's a Derry City Football Club, you know. Be content, be happy with what you have already achieved. You know, because it's a massive thing what you have achieved. And I know Bobby is over in England, which is brilliant. You know, what an achievement. But obviously you want to go to the next level and stuff like that there. But if it's as far as he goes, you know, be, what an achievement you have already done. Because you've had a massive football club. I never forget that. Uh, I know, Mikel, I know Mo asked you about that. What would you do different if he, like before you went over when you are 16? But I want to ask, what would you do different when you are over when you are 16? Uh, when I was over when I was 16, I, I played with lads. Um, three three lads I can I can remember, and they all were doing degrees while they were playing football, and I was always sitting there like, "How are you doing this here? Like you don't have the time to do it. You know yourself from being over, Bobby. You be you be home in the house for one o'clock, half one. Ah, uh, every day you just get so much time. Like <laughs> you have so much time to do it. Mm. I was always like, no, I have to focus on football. I have to focus on football. I won't have the time for that if I do this here." It'll take away from me football. The lads I played with that were studying degrees actually were better players, you know. And it, and I believe it was because they've had that release. Now I'm not saying you have to go and do a degree or something, but you know, even if it's a personal training course online, you know, just a couple of hours a week you're doing something. If if I was in England now, that's where I would definitely do it. A hundred million percent, I would do it. I would look into um, psychology as well, sports psychologist. You know, you have a bit of money, stuff I got there. I would go and speak to a sports psychologist because it's worth every penny. I, I've seen a sports psychologist every Thursday for a year and a half. And it was just like my mentality, how that changed for me and how I seen things differently was so amazing. So that would be probably the two main things I would do. And use me, use me time wisely because as a footballer, when you're over there, you can waste it so easy. You know, and mm. you're in home, at home at one o'clock and you just lying in bed going for naps stuff like that there you know stupid stuff like, you know you just think it's just loving the dream but it's not you know go and do other stuff because you have that much time and I know now from you know working a full time job you don't get that time anymore you know so don't, just don't waste your time that's what I would say mm. I think I think um, that question that you asked Bobby is a good question but your answer Mikhail it doesn't matter if you're playing for Derry or if you're playing for no. whoever or England. That is a given. So what Mikhail says there about the evidence and four four lads who were at Charlton when he was at Charlton, three of them done a degree. And because they bettered their life and probably felt better about themselves, yeah. they done better in their football. So sure that, what I'm getting is I think everyone, regardless of where you're playing and what standard you're playing at, is I think studies and work and everything so important as well. They, come, they should be coming hand in hand. And um, and you can do them. There's, there's no excuses. They say, oh, sure, I play football and I'm training three or four nights a week. 
So our uh, five nights, whatever it is, I just think that everybody should take lessons um, from kind of like some me, who's been there um, as a 14 and 15, 16 year old, then going to England. I think every single one of you should take a lesson from that. They say, right, yeah. I, I want to give everything I have to be a footballer, but also want to better my life, which is going to make me a better person mm-hmm. and which is going to have an impact on my life. So, um, I think the yeah. word which you said there and I picked up on, um, Mikhail, was, um, mm-hmm. and I'm encouraging all you boys, is the release. There has to be a release away from football. It can't right. be. Everything can't be sleep, drink, eat, football. Okay, let's do repetition for what you're meant to do, but there needs to be a release. And that release could be studying, family, relationship with your girlfriend or whatever. There needs to be a release, boys. Um, and because, as Mikhail said, if he, he got absorbed in it. And, you know, he talked about his friends who were studying and they were better players and maybe they were better players because they had that release as well. Yeah. And I think you need to be mindful that, yeah, that do what you need to do, do that bit extra. But you know what? There is, and I always say it as well, as, and this isn't to take you away from your dreams or retinas, but I always remember something, boys, is there's more to life than football. Um, and we want you to be footballers and you have the ability to be footballers, but there's more to life than football and that's family friends and stuff like that what do you reckon Mikhail? 100 percent. there is you know i would never put anyone off the yeah. you know from becoming a footballer like it is uh, the best thing ever like of course but there's more to life in it and i've only really discovered that this year like then there's more to each and every one of you of being a footballer mm-hmm. you know so really work on discovering who you actually are because when you just limit yourself to just thinking you're a footballer you know you're you're just closing off like 90 percent of who you really are you know, so that's that's what I believe. But um, you know, for for lockdown and stuff we got there, I was writing it down. You know, we stuff like I know it's tough for you now with no training and stuff we got there. But <clears throat> use this opportunity to work on all aspects of your life now. You know, and whether that be mental health wise, whether it be working on yourself physically, working on whatever. You know, work on all different stuff. Have that release from football, really. Okay. Yeah.